And in life, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. Back in Venezuela, Shell Oil was making serious mistakes on decision making and losing billions of dollars. And I knew there had to be a better way beyond common sense and experience and judgment. And once I started delving into it, I realized there was a science behind it. Decision making and negotiating are my fortes. Why? Because every action is a decision and every interaction is a negotiation. Greetings, I am Professor Errol Virasinghe. Subsequently, I went to Venezuela where I worked as a research scientist and a university professor. I joined Shell Oil Company and worked in the oil field. From there, I went to Abu Dhabi and spent five years as the head of strategic planning for the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. And I decided to work in the area of management training and consulting. I do not deal with problem solving. I deal with decision making. So whatever your industry, you know more about the industry and you also know potential solutions to a problem you have. But the trouble is once you find the solutions, you don't know which one is the right solution to implement. That's when I come into the play. I show you, based on your feelings and the data, how to reach the correct decision. I often get the question, who is my target audience? And I tell them, leadership is top down, Decision-making is bottom-up because the CXOs and the CEOs have to rely on the guys below to provide the right kind of information. So it is imperative that you actually train people from the ground up, show them the critical nature of the decisions they make and its impact at the higher level. I can assure you something that is very clear. I am the only person in the world who offers professional training in the area of analytical decision making. We own two software products, one for multi-criteria decision making, and the other is D-Zone mapping for uncertainties related to decisions. Because some decisions are all based on uncertain data. Others are based on multiple criteria. So we need to have two different approaches for that. Over the last 25 years, I've got about eight to 10,000 attendees. Some of the companies include Walmart, Wells Fargo Bank, Hype Regency, the US Navy, Shell, Pepsi, Coke. These are all established clients of mine. Because as I said earlier, nobody else in the world offers training in analytical decision making, nor do they have the software to drive your decision. We do it. We provide you with the ability to make defensible decisions. Because the software is built on the basis of very complex mathematics, such as eigenmatrices. So, what we have done is, we have taken your decision and we have put it into a model that is, you are not aware of what goes in behind the scene. Every department, human resources, procurement, supply chain, you name it. Every facet is driven by a decision. Everything you do is a decision. And without that, you can't deal. We don't seem to compartmentalize a decision. It's happening all the time. It's not just procurement. It's about recruiting, operational decisions, asset allocation, site selection, many, many decisions. I'd like to introduce you to my book, Making Better Defensible Decisions. Here we talk about multi-criteria decisions. Then we talk about decision validation. This is extremely important to reach the optimum decision. We have other decisions that deal with uncertainties, particularly impact probability and event probability. For example, a plane, the event or the likelihood that a plane would crash is extremely small, 0 0.0001. However, the impact is disastrous because the plane is going to be completely destroyed and most probably you will die. So when you're dealing with uncertainties, always consider, always factor event probability and impact probability. I deliver in-person classroom and public sessions. I deliver virtual sessions. So I encourage you to join my virtual course on decision-making in the age of big data.